Senator Liu, uh, Assemblymember Calderon, for allowing me to sit on the dais this morning and participate in this very important hearing. Uh, 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 let me just very quickly reference Creative Capital in, in two ways. Creative Capital OL, um, California has been, is now, and must remain the creative capital of not just our country, but, but of the world. We have the ability to do that, but we need to maintain our edge. And creative capital AL, uh, we need to be thinking about the jobs that this provides for, for our economy. In, in uh, my little town of Santa Monica, when we studied where, <clears throat> where the jobs come from, over 40% of the jobs in Santa Monica are somehow related to the creative capital of our community. And so um, that infusion of dollars and cents and what it means for the people who live not just in my city but in the district, in the region, and in the state of California is incalculable, and we need to keep that going. Thank you. Senator Waldron. Thank you, Senator Liu. Um, just to tag on, uh, I serve with Assemblymember Calderon as the Vice Chair of the Assembly Arts and Entertainment Committee. And this is a very important hearing that we're having. The Otis Report is bringing out a lot of information that maybe folks don't realize how positive the impact is of the creative industries in our state which was indicated is a homegrown industry to us, and we need to work as hard as we can to retain it and grow it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Regardless of uh, what parts of the world we come from or what religion or colors we are, it seems like arts are such an internationally appreciated and respected form of performance that doesn't require that you speak a, a given language or be a member of a given religion or a party. It's something that has united us all, and it's, it's very international. Let's put it to good work, and, and we can even deliver peace with arts. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh... and this, Assemblymember Weber. Yes, thank you, uh, <clears throat> Senator Liu and Assemblymember Calderon. I'm really appreciative to be uh, asked to serve on this joint committee on the arts. And um, one of the things I think that's really important for me, particularly as I, as I look at the material and appreciate the reports that have been done, um, I, most of you know I'm, I'm an educator to the bone. And one of the most difficult things has been over the years is that our schools and our districts have eliminated the arts. Uh, which means oftentimes they've cut off young people from the, the discipline that really inspires them and motivates them and gives them a reason to exist. And um, so I'm excited about that, the fact that as we are rebuilding in California, we have the opportunity now to, one, to reinstate a full curriculum for young people that includes the arts and to support that, uh, that initiative because it does have a, play an integral part in the academics of our, our schools and our nation. And so this is a great opportunity, obviously, being able to, for many people to quantify it in terms of dollars and cents. For them, makes good, uh, uh, gives them great support for uh, pushing the arts in every area. But I think most of you who are in the arts and know a little bit about it, that there's something about the art that just always can't be quantified in terms of dollars and cents, in terms of people's lives and the fulfillment of their lives that's there. Uh, when I was on the school board, I spent a significant amount of time rebuilding our music program so that we had music in every school. Uh, unfortunately, those programs have been dismantled in the last eight or nine years for budget cuts. This is always the first place people look to cut the budget is in the arts. And so I think this gives us some support, continuing support for what we know is essential to the lives of young people in the state and, uh, and basically the economy, and that's the support of the arts. So I really appreciate the, the work that's been done, the information we have here that helps to sustain and support our positions with regards to support for the arts. Thank you.